Faced with the worst impacts of climate change and having contributed little to it, countries of the global south have been calling for climate justice. At this forum at the COP29 China Pavilion, the focus was to not just raise collective concerns, but also support each other during this climate crisis. China has provided 171 billion yuan for climate change projects since 2016, which has strongly supported other developing countries to fight climate change. So far, China has signed 53 memorandums of understanding on South-South cooperation on climate change with 42 developing countries. United Nations climate chief Simon Style praised China's leadership in the global south, noting the importance of collaboration among developing nations to meet ambitious climate targets. China's already the world's largest investor in renewable energy. The amount of wind and solar power under construction in China is now nearly twice as much as the rest of the world combined. Help him bring down emissions at home and abroad. Its investment in renewables, in battery storage, and electric vehicles is a prime example of how international solidarity is also good business. And it demonstrates a will to lead by example. High-ranking officials and ministers also highlighted partnerships with China undertaken to strengthen climate resilience of vulnerable communities and drive sustainable progress. The event closed with the signing of an agreement between China and Nigeria to work together on clean energy. South-South cooperation has emerged as a powerful tool in the fight against climate change. At today's high-level forum, it was clear that China's leadership has enabled resource sharing and capacity building for countries in the global South. Radhika Bajaj, CGTN, Baku, Azerbaijan.